This week in the Imperial Valley, ECRMC honors the fallen of 9-11. IVC remembers the day of infamy, and Imperial County climbs the stairs. I'm Alexis Soto, and this is your Desert Review Weekly Webcast. El Centro Regional Medical Center held a 9-11 remembrance ceremony Friday, September 10th, just one day before the 20th anniversary of the nation's tragedy, which occurred in New York City, the Pentagon, and Stony Creek Township, Pennsylvania, due to the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. The ceremony included a welcome by Dr. Edward, religious invocation by Pastor Alan Franklin of Faith Assembly, the raising of the U.S. flag to taps, an open mic for those who wanted to say a few words in remembrance, and a moment of silence for the fallen. Military veterans reminded the audience at Imperial Valley College, Friday, September 10th, to honor those who died and to pray for those who still carry the emotional and physical pains resulting from the terrorist attack on September 11th. IVC's Patriot Day 20th anniversary commemoration that started at 8.46 a.m. was attended by military veterans, active military personnel, elected officials, community college educators, and guests. IVC's interim superintendent and president, Dr. Leonard Johnson said, we are here to commemorate the almost 3,000 who lost their lives 20 years ago. Let's take a moment of silence to honor these victims. Old Glory hung once again from fire engines as teams climbed up and down the grandstand steps of the Imperial County Fairgrounds during the 8th Annual Imperial Valley 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb, Saturday, September 11th. The event is the Valley's way to continue honoring fallen first responders and the lives lost in the World Trade Center bombings of September 11, 2001. Saturday was the 20th anniversary of the national tragedy. Stair Climb Committee member Carlos Pitones said, It was a very tragic event. We hope that it never happens again here in our homeland. So with that, we want to ensure that everybody else behind us remembers that tragic day and remembers what happened here in the U.S. They started with the memorial portion of the event, where a multi-agency color guard presented the nation's colors. Two areas had pictures on display of the fallen heroes, and keynote speaker Ernest Mitchell Jr., a former Federal Emergency Management Agency fire administrator and a firefighter with 33 years of experience, addressed attendees and participants. The Desert Review would like to offer a moment of silence. For information on these stories and more, check out our free website at thedesertreview.com. Remember to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and pick up our weekly paper at a location near you. I'm Alexis Soto, and this is your Desert Review Weekly Webcast.